Hey guys, my name is Mukesh. You're watching Earning Insights. Guys, do you wonder how to write effective blog content or post that can drive millions of traffic to your website? If yes, then keep watching the video because I'll be telling you my top six tricks in this video, which can drive millions of traffic into your blog post and eventually you can earn a lot of money. You can also be a freelancer and write effective content for others. So guys, keep watching the video where I'll be explaining you everything and I'll be rather showing you my WordPress backend and I'll be showing you how I write a content. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell because I create videos on making money online. And if you subscribe to our channel, I'll notify you next time I make a video and so that you don't miss anything. And trust me, guys, you don't want to miss anything. All right, guys, let's start. Let us understand why this particular system is so important. Why writing a SEO friendly article is so important nowadays, guys. If this is 2010 or 2011, by doing SEO or on-page SEO was extremely easy. You have to put a keyword, you have to extract a good keyword and you have to sprinkle that keyword in your particular um, blog that you are writing. But guys, the difference is now it is 2020. So whenever you are writing a content or a post or a blog, it is highly required that your particular blog should have all the requirements that Google is having to rank your website so that whatever content you are writing or whatever post you, you are writing can get ranked in Google very easily and ultimately you can drive a lot of traffic into your blog post. Now guys, let us understand why this particular thing is so important, why content writing or SEO friendly article is so important. Guys, if you know nowadays thousands of uh, posts are getting live each day. Now, there are a lot of companies who want content writer who can write a good content for their website so that it can rank higher in Google. Now, as if you want to be a good content writer, then you have to first understand what Google needs and what your readers need. If you identify both the things and you can write the article in the same manner, it is very much possible that you rank your article in the top position of Google. Now guys, Google is very much smart today. He knows what the readers are looking for and Google is meant for its readers, not for the content writer. So that is what you need to understand. You need to understand what your readers are looking for and how Google basically works. Then you write your content. So guys, without wasting any more time, let's jump into my laptop screen where I'll show you how to write a SEO friendly articles and what are the checkpoints of the same. So Without wasting any more time, guys, let's jump in. Hey, guys, I'm in my laptop screen right now. And today I'll be telling you all my tips and tricks by which you can write a SEO friendly article. And eventually you can rank your blog or even you can start your content writing journey. So, guys, let us uh, move towards the tips and tricks that are must to write effective content. So, the first one is that. In the beginning of the blog, you have to ask a question in the beginning. So, this is basically uh, in this video, I'll be telling you and I'll be showing you my backend. So, this is basically my WordPress, uh, uh, you know, login page, and this is one of my posts that I'm going to release shortly. So, I'll be taking you through my blog post and how I write my blog post for a SEO friendly article. So, uh, don't worry, just keep. Uh, uh, keep your seat belts on because I'll be telling you all the details uh, and I'll be showing you all the details also. So guys, if you see in this blog content in starting, I have this particular blog post is about earning money at home. This is basically for, you know, housewives and for people who want to earn money from home. As you can see in the beginning only, I have, I asked a question, how can I find work at home jobs and start earning from today so this is basically a question that is in my readers mind so by asking this question and by writing this question in the beginning itself i am connecting with the reader and that is what you have to do that is my that is the tip number one that you have to follow is ask a question in the beginning guys you have to ask a question and also you have to uh, keep a note that 
the main keyword in this article my main keyword is work at home jobs so this is my main keyword and i am writing this keyword in the beginning so that google understand that my uh, you know my blog is all about this particular article this particular keyword and eventually it ranks my keyword so this is one of the very very important tip guys whenever you are writing article make sure to write a con uh, write a question that is in the readers mind so that you can connect with the reader and then write the uh, write the main keyword in that question so that google identifies your particular blog so that is the tip number one guys let us move to the tip number two that is the that is to have a keyword in your title so guys one thing that you have to understand is you have to find your target keyword before writing any particular article so you have to understand guys that you are not only writing a article you are actually writing article based on a keyword so if i will tell you about this article i have targeted a keyword work at home jobs fine so if you see i have actually added this work at home jobs in my main title then i have added the same keyword in in the beginning and then i have simply sprinkled this particular article and this particular uh, um, keyword throughout my blogs and you cannot just throw this uh, main keyword like um, uh, like you are you are doing this seo you have to do it in a readable way like it if you if you read the sentence it's best work at home job so this is not a word this is a sentence which people are getting connected so you cannot just put this work at home jobs work at home jobs multiple times just to uh, you know have your readers you have to give a meaning to this particular uh, article this particular keyword and then eventually you make meaningful sentences to this keyword uh, you have to create meaningful sentences around the keyword you you cannot uh, you cannot uh, prompt a seo hungry kind of uh, feeling to google it will uh, easily identifies basically after the um, hummingbird um, update from google it easily identifies um, the seo hungry behavior of the writer and then it uh, you know it will not rank your article so it's very important guys that you make sure uh, you include the your keyword in your title and at the same time you make a sentence a meaningful sentence so that you can eventually rank your article so guys one more thing that i want to tell you is before doing the seo of any content you have to make sure you install one plugin that is yoast seo uh, most of you already may be aware of yoast seo if you are not then just install the yoast seo it is a very useful plugin and it is free to use for wordpress what this will do is now guys uh, once you install the yoast seo plugin you uh, you will have a option to write focus keyword so once you write the focus keyword here what this seo what this particular plugin will do is it will analyze your article around this particular keyword so my keyword is work at home job so what this particular by writing work at home jobs as my primary key phrase what this particular plugin will do is it will analyze my total profile and then it will tell me what are the mistakes that i am doing so for example uh, there are no internal links so this is for a reason uh, and then there is no key phrase in subheadings okay this is also for a reason i i have done it for some reasons then i have some outbound links and then it then it basically kind of uh, you know scans your article and it ranks and it tells you what are the mistakes that you are doing so it is highly recommend that you install this uh, yoast seo guys it is free to use uh, you make sure you install this in your wordpress now guys let us move towards the next tip that i have for you and that is have your main keyword multiple times so guys if you are aware of the on page seo uh, then from 2007 2008 itself there is one update that is uh, that is you know that is in google and it uh, uh, it doesn't move anywhere is the thing that you need to use your main keyword multiple times in your blog now the question is guys how many times do you use your main keyword in your blog the answer to the question is anything more than 1.5% so guys let me tell you what is 1.5% so 
if you see guys this article this article that i have written is it has around 4200 words this particular article if, if i'll tell you just hang on i'll just show you so this particular article has 4243 words so what i need to do is minimum i have to divide it by 100 so then i'll have around 42 yeah it, uh, i'll be ha having around you know 42 times i should use my uh, you know my main keywords in my blog so that is like uh, one percent of this uh, particular of this particular uh, blog content so that this is one of the things that you have to keep in your mind you need to make sure that the that your main keyword should be in your article more than 1.5 percent so if your uh, blog is composed of 100 words then your uh, main keyword should you know should repeat itself minimum 1.5 times so I, this is just an example you can just multiply it by the number of um, words that you are writing by the way guys uh, don't write an article which has less than 200 2000 words uh, google will identify it very easily and then ultimately it will not rank you so if you see this article it has more than 4000 words uh, it is highly recommend that you article that you write article more than 3000 words if it is not 3000 at least write an article with more than 2000 words don't go for an article which is less than 2000 words uh, you you cannot able to rank the article with uh, 2000 words so the guys uh, the next tip that i have for you is use lsi keywords so guys what is lsi keyword lsi keyword are nothing but the similar keywords which is your main keyword so in this case work at home jobs is my main keyword but work from home jobs uh, earning from home are the similar keywords which is related to this thing so in current scenario guys google is extremely powerful and smart so it can easily identify which are the synonyms uh, which is related to you know work at home jobs so if you sprinkle the job the keywords which is similar to work at home jobs then there is a higher possibility that google will basically identify it and push the article because google then understand this that uh, in your page the number of you are talking about basically this particular uh, keyword and you are talking in a different manner that's it so use uh, use uh, this particular concept use lsi keywords it is very very important by the way by the way guys i will i would also like to tell you about the content writing masterclass if you are serious about content writing if you want to rank your blog in the top 10 position and, or if you want to create your freelancing journey in content writing field i highly recommend that you check the link i'll, I'll leave a link of this particular website in my description so um, uh, basically maggie is one of my friends she train people on how to make career in content writing and trust me she generates more than six figure income by doing content writing and she knows what she talks about so i had a great experience with her there are a lot of people i know personally who are being taught by her and the best part is she also tells you where you can start earning you can start earning minimum one thousand dollar not in years but in months if you go and uh, check out the course so i highly recommend guys that you go and check out the link uh, in the description below uh, and i highly recommend that you go through her course it will it will be really highly beneficial so guys let us move ahead uh, go to the next tip that i have for you use numbers in titles and brackets so this is the tip five for you guys just let me show you what i'm talking about in this particular blog i have not used that but if you see all the there is a st recent study by brian dean which shows uh, that numbers in the beginning or in the title of the content if you use numbers the chances are that your uh, particular blog will get ranked higher in google because we all like numbers that is the reason it is so powerful guys you you can also use brackets like uh, um, uh, i can use a bracket and tell uh, tell that it is for beginners or something like that but used to something like top 10 
of 10 works work at home jobs to earn for beginners so uh, something like this this is just an example guys uh, this particular blog post is for some other reason so I, i'll not change this blog post but make sure to have numbers in your keyword title it will be highly beneficial for your on page seo so this is one more tip that i have for you guys now let us move to, uh, towards the last tip that i have for you today that is to use multimedia so guys if you see uh, in 2020 nobody wants to read an article which has text text and text people used to like the pictures videos and everything so that is the reason guys if you read any article today the any good article today you will find dozens of images and videos in this article also guys if you will go through it you will find a lot of images simply because it creates a good interaction with the reader and the interact the reader feels engaged with the blog nobody wants to uh, read a you know 4000 uh, words paragraph it will get more um, you know boring so guys uh, make sure to include videos also as you can see i have put some of my videos which is in my youtube in my blog so that if uh, if anyone want to you know watch how to do it they can just play it from here and they can ultimately watch the video and it will be helpful for the reader also and for the at the same time for me also you can see i use a lot of videos of mine as well as lot of pictures so guys make sure to use the, these techniques in the on page seo keep watching the channel guys in the upcoming video i will be sharing with more you know videos related to the content writing so make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, keep waiting because the next time i will be publishing a video related to content writing i will definitely notify you and you don't miss anything so guys that's it for today's video if you like the video give me a thumbs up let me know in the comment section your suggestion so that i can incorporate the changes in the upcoming video make sure to subscribe the channel turn on the notification bell i'll see you in the next video until then bye, -bye.